I'm persistent. I can be belligerent if I need to be. And I have an interest in the stories people tell me. I hate meanness because I think it drains the colour out of your life. And I think an awful lot of people confuse what I do with meanness because they think, oh, it's all this penny-pinching nonsense. But the reality is it's not about being mean. It's about spending your money more carefully and then using the savings to do whatever it is that you want to do. Sometimes it's about informing people, about entertaining them, and sometimes it's about helping people. I think all journalism is quite intense. It's hard work and it's very deadline driven. If you miss the deadlines, there's a big white space in the page. Will it work out at 600 words? Easily, yeah. Myself and Brian are going up to take a look. One day I can be writing about personal finance or mortgage arrears, and the next day I can be writing about overpriced sausages. It's a completely random job, and that really appeals to me. A lot of the stuff that we deal with are really, really important to people's lives. I'm not sure if reviewing curry or a kitchen towel is as important to people's lives. And on one level, that's a nice thing about it because any media organisation has to have light and has to have shade. Who do you speak to if there's a problem? Hearing the stories that people tell can be very distressing because people are under pressure, they're scared, they're intimidated, and sometimes they are just so beaten down. And that kills me because people shouldn't have to come to me. How are you doing? It's Connor Pope here from the Irish Times. How are you? Uh, not too good. You're driving a customer demented. I don't mind it so much when a business makes a mistake, but I hate it when they willfully and knowingly treat their customers badly just so they can maximize their profits. All I care about is that the problem gets fixed. It's nice to see the resolution. And they're problems that people might have been banging their heads against a wall or hanging on a telephone for hours and hours trying to get fixed. I know that were it not for the intervention of the Irish Times, those people wouldn't have got resolution to their problems. I think one of the key problems we have in Ireland as a society is that so many people are voiceless. They are disempowered and they don't have anywhere they can go for help. I think we need to be supporting those people and saying, listen, you're not alone. And we'll talk to you again. I like helping people out. I like writing. I actually really enjoy writing, and I'm very lucky to be able to do that for a living.